the intuit offense, <laughs> anticipatory offense, intuit crime, preliminary crime. <laughs> this preliminary crime of changing my address on my driver's license, yes, was the first step in quite a few years of torture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it, it seemed like it was insignificant to you, my name, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yes. See, the, somebody uh -huh, paid someone mm -hmm. to change the address, the height, uh -huh, and the weight of myself, yes, and quite possibly the hair color, mm -hmm. but what they did was they changed my name. Mm -hmm. Now, every one of these court notices, yes, shouldn't have a space in the name. <laughs> you should not have a space in the defendant's name. Now, <laughs> you shouldn't have a, a space in the verse's name. Yes, <laughs> there should be no space between the comma and the name Paul. <laughs> now, for the sheriff's department to conspire against me, ooch, you said I was a mentally ill homeless man. Sheriff Bill Benedict. This mm -hmm, uh, changing of the driver's license whenever it took place uh -huh, was the first attempt at getting me put into a mental institution, yes, so that my relatives could have control of my assets, yes, because they bribed judges, yes, they bribed police officers, yes, they bribed individuals because you were all getting paid for a show. Well, that's a huge intuit, yes, offense that involves quite a few different actors, yes, that all conspired together, yes, through the process of soliciting right now. Now, you have personally documented, yes, your refusal to enforce the laws, uh, Sheriff Bill Benedict, mm. and I myself have a copy of an email that you sent to those in law enforcement, yes, where you have conspired against me having my rights enforced. Yes. And one of the first attempts at doing that, oh, oh was the changing of my name. Mm -hmm. Now, for every state of the United States that think that this is just kind of a joke, yes, it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. Does the prosecuting attorney's office understand that when I put my driver's license there, and this name, yes, is not on this warrant for my arrest? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is not on this warrant for my arrest. I would say it was not on the actual notice uh, requiring me to appear in court for the two-count criminal complaint. Yes. In fact, every time I find a notice, subpoena, or summons where my name has been changed, I would say that Clallam County, yes, and Jefferson County, yes, and the employees of those counties have conspired against me, an American citizen. Now, when I say it's a large lawsuit, just not having that name correct, mm -hmm, it is a huge lawsuit. Now, Sheriff, you need to realize that when this is my state-issued identification that can be used in every state of the United States, and you have knowledge of the crimes of attempt, yes, conspiracy and solicitation to commit crime, and then you fraudulently issue a warrant for my arrest, yes, 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 mm -hmm, uh, to arrest me on January 4th of 2016, yes, <laughs> And then you issue a warrant for my failure to appear when I personally requested from the public defender's office a copy of the notice requiring me to appear, and they conspired against me. Yes, it is obvious that these corrupt judges, right, those corrupt sheriffs, yes, and those corrupt police officers are going to go to prison, yes, for conspiring against the apartment of...